In this video, I am going to demonstrate how to create and use macros in Google Sheets. A macro is a recorded sequence of actions or commands that can be automatically replayed to perform repetitive tasks. It helps save time and reduce errors by automating steps like formatting, sorting, copying data, and applying formulas. In this example, the first sheet contains pilot flight logs and the second sheet contains mechanic maintenance logs. As we can see, both sheets have the same number of columns in their tables. I want to record a series of actions in one sheet and apply them to the second sheet. Let's begin. I will go to Extensions, Select Macros, and choose Record Macro. There are two recording modes. Use Absolute Reference applies the macro to the exact location as recorded. Use Relative Reference applies the macro to the current selection. Suppose I want to record a macro on the first four columns of the first sheet and apply the same formatting to the corresponding columns in the second sheet. At this point, the recording has started. I will insert one column to the left of column C. The header name is Shift since I want to enter data about the pilot shifts. Next, I'll highlight columns. Go to the Format tab and choose Alternating Colors. I'll select yellow from the options in the side panel and press Done. Then I'll highlight all the headers, make them bold, and center align the text. Since I expect many records in this table, I'll freeze the first row by going to View, selecting Freeze, and choosing one row. Once done, I'll click Save. I'll name this macro Absolute Table Format. I can also set a keyboard shortcut such as Ctrl Alt Shift 1. Then click Save. The first macro has now been successfully recorded. Next, I want to create another macro, this time for the smaller table on the right side of the sheet. I'll go to Extensions, Select Macros, and choose Record Macro. Since I want to apply this macro to any location on another sheet, I'll choose Use Relative Reference Mode. I'll highlight the cells in the small table, click Borders, and select All Borders. The input cell will have a light blue fill color and the output cell, where the formula result appears, will have a light green fill color. I'll then enter the formula. The first argument is a range to evaluate, the second is a criteria, and the third is a range to sum when the criteria are met. This means I'll compute the total hours for a specific aircraft entered in cell. I'll save this macro with the name Relative Table Format or Formula and assign it the shortcut Control Alt Shift 2. Then click Save. Now let's apply the macros to the second sheet. I can either go to the Extensions tab to run the macro or use the assigned keyboard shortcut. For now, I'll use the Extensions tab. Notice that when I apply the first macro, which uses Absolute Reference Mode, the same location in the second sheet receives the recorded formatting. For the next example, notice that the small table on the second sheet is in a different location. I will select the first cell of that table and run the recorded macro from the Extensions tab. Alternatively, I could use its shortcut Control alt shift 2 As you can see, the formatting and recorded actions are correctly applied. This shows that you can place the small table anywhere on the sheet. The relative reference mode is important when you intend to apply the same actions to different locations on the same or other sheets. I hope this video helps you better understand how macros work in Google Sheets. If you found this helpful, please like the video, share your thoughts in the comments, and consider subscribing for more content. Thanks for watching.